hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i'm going to be showing you guys a few patio updates but before we get into that i have to tell you guys about these designer dupe perfumes from dossier so dossier is a fragrance company that makes designer dupes from some of our favorites like chanel tom ford dolce and gabbana they make a dupe of these beautiful scents that we all know and love for a fraction of the price so if you know, you know, these fragrances can range from $100 to $300 sometimes. And that can be quite a bit of money for a bottle of perfume. However, Dossier makes it so much easier to get luxury scents for a fraction of the price. Um, most of their scents are $49 and below. So you can get one of these designer dupes that are normally like $100 or $300 for $49 or less. That is a steal and I'm here for it. So let's hop right into the review. So one of my favorite things about Dossier is that they include a sample size of the perfume that you purchased so you can try it out and see if you like it. And if you don't, you can send it back and try something else. So I think that's a great touch to add to blind buying a perfume scent because you really don't know if you're gonna like it or not. So I definitely like the fact that they include this sample to go ahead and try it out. So the first scent I have here is Florianzo Coconut. This is a dupe for the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. It smells incredible. It's a summery scent. It's perfect for every day. It's light, it's not too, too much going on, and it stays on all day. Absolutely love that one. This one is the Oriental Oak Moss. This one is a dupe for the Chanel Mademoiselle, which I actually have that perfume and I absolutely love it. And it smells the exact same. When I tell you guys, I was so confused <laughs> because I'm like, hold on a second. This smells just like my Chanel Mademoiselle. I do not own the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, so I can't tell you guys if the smell is similar or the same for that one. However, the Chanel Mademoiselle gave me the confidence to assume <laughs> that this one, uh, the Florence Coconut, would smell like the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So either way it goes, I really love both of the fragrances. They smell really good. They don't smell cheap whatsoever. Um, the Oriental Oak Moss is definitely a light and really feminine scent um something definitely for every day i wear it to work every single day it's not heavy um i love the fact that they stay on all day um the caps are magnetic so they hold on tight to the bottle which is great and not to mention the bottles are visually aesthetic this is really cute and minimal which i love just to give a little bit more details on the fragrances the florence coconut has a powdery floral um, coconut smell and the oriental oak moss has a very citrus um, rosy fruity type of smell very light and very great for summer every day so if you're looking for something for the summertime these two are perfect so overall i highly recommend dossier this is a great luxury dupe company you guys i highly recommend it i will also link a discount code down below for y'all so y'all can check out dossier as well and the discount code that i do provide is stackable on top of the discount codes that are already available on the website so you can get savings on top of savings so great deal great quality and you guys are not going to be disappointed these were sent to me but i will be purchasing some on my own because i love them that much all right you guys let's get into this patio so i'm not the biggest fan of what my patio is looking like so far because i will be moving next month so i will be giving you guys some updated apartment tours and decor and things like that but i did want to make my patio look like something while i'm still here so this is what i came up with i just kind of worked with what i had and just kind of added some new stuff say hello to fendi and benji <laughs> So yeah, this is the overall look of what my patio is looking like. I'm just going to tell you guys where I got a lot of this stuff from. Um, in case you're new and did not see my first apartment tour, um, I did kind of give some info on some of this patio furniture, but we're just going to go over it again. So this is my egg chair. This is from TJ Maxx. I got it for $299.99, so $300. Um, it's not bad at all for that because a lot of these egg chairs cost so much money. They're like $500 on like online and everything like that. But if you go to TJ Maxx or Home Goods, you can find one for about $300 and that's not a bad price 
at all. So these cushions are from Five Below. They were $5 a piece. They're actually called floor pillows. I guess you can like sit on the floor on them. But I just was like, you know what? For $5, I really like black and white. So I just wanted to throw that in there. I'm sure it's going to change when I move. But I really liked how those pillows look. So this rug down here is from Five Below. It was only $5. I like the rug. It is too small for my space, but it was only $5. So I just put it here, kept it, didn't feel like returning it. And I just think it's a really cute rug. So it's here. <laughs> so here's my Majestic Palm from Home Depot. I really love palm trees. They're probably my favorite tree. It was only $24.99. I had one before right here. Um, his name was Sebastian, but he died in the freeze. So if y'all have any tips for shaking your plant back, please let me know. But yes, this plant is beautiful. Home Depot has a very nice selection of plants for a decent price. It came in this little planter here. It's a little plastic white planter. I just kept it in there because I thought it looked okay. But this one is steadily growing. Um, it's doing really well in this shady balcony. It doesn't really get much sun on my balcony. So it's been doing really, really well. So definitely proud of this guy for sure. So I purchased these lights from Five Below as well. I got two boxes of them. Um, I believe they're eight feet a piece and uh, two fit my balcony really nicely. I just wrapped them around the railings because I didn't feel like tacking them to the ceiling. I'll probably tack them to the ceiling in my next apartment. Um, but yeah, they're really nice and they withstood a lot of rain. So it definitely shocks me that they still work. So if you're iffy or on the fence about these lights from Five Below, they're only $5 a piece and they last. So don't worry about the rain. They really are outdoor proof. <laughs> so you'll be fine in that regard. Okay, so next up is this Quarter Line Red Sister. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, I just love the beautiful leaves. I really wanted something that added some color to my balcony. And this is just beautiful. This is also from Home Depot. It was $14.99, which I felt was not bad at all. This definitely is adding some tropicalness <laughs> to my um, patio space. And I just love looking at it. It's beautiful. So if you're looking for something to add some color... Um, the Red Sister is a great plant to go with and it's really surviving really well in the shade. So definitely recommend that one. So over here in the corner is just a cushion that was in my egg chair, but I took it out because my puppies love to lay on it and relax. So I just want to give them a little space where they can just chill in the corner on something soft and they love it. So they chill right there a whole lot. Um, and then over here is just a candle holder, which is from the at home store. It was on clearance for like $10. I got it maybe last summer. Very nice. And I just added a faux plant inside of it. It's supposed to hold a candle, but my LED candles are burnt out because the batteries are dead. So I just decided to fill it with some greenery just to add some green to that little corner um so next up is the main part of the patio which is my patio set excuse my finger over there in the left hand corner it's about to move it's just i don't know why it was there <laughs> but i got this patio set from tj maxx it was 90 dollars for the chairs and the table so i had to steal that so that was great it came with the cushions as well um, but these black and white cushions are from Five Below. They were $5 a piece. And I really love the little tassel um, details on them. I think it just adds like a little boho, you know, tropical feel too. So that's really fun. Uh, Five Below had a lot of different pillows and patterns as well. So if you're not into black and white and you like more color, you can definitely find something at Five Below that suits that as well. But yes, love this patio set, but I probably will be getting rid of it because I just want something new. So I got this poof from TJ Maxx. It was, I believe it was, I got it on clearance for like $29. So that's not bad at all. Um, I've been seeing them a lot lately in TJ Maxx too. So you can definitely probably still find one. So moving on to the table accessories, um, this is a fountain that was sent to me from Ferris Land. I really like this a lot. It definitely adds a tranquil um, aspect to my patio. I love the way the water sounds trickling down the fountain. It's just so relaxing. Um, and then I added some white rocks from the Dollar Tree. They were only a dollar and I put them in there as well. I will link the fountain down below as well as the discount code for you guys so y'all can purchase a fountain because I think that 
it's definitely necessary to have a water accessory on your patio it just adds so much relaxation but right here it's just a planter from the studio mcgee collection and i added my dracaena plant in here which i love this plant um it's so easy it's low maintenance um it looks like it's having some crispy ends here <laughs> but it's a very nice plant for the shade so i recommend checking that out i got that from lowe's for like ten dollars so here is just a Centronella candle from the Project 62 collection at Target. Y'all know I love me some Target, <laughs> but I like this candle a lot. I like the look of it, and I like the fact that it repels mosquitoes, so definitely a great find. Here are my two favorites, Fendi and Benji. These are my babies, you guys. Um, Benji is new to our family. He is Fendi's blood little brother. So I'm happy that we're able to have them together and be a little family with them. They are my light and they just make my days. So I love hanging out with them here on the patio. They are just so fun and cute. I almost forgot to tell y'all about the rug. So the rug is from Ross. Um, it was only $14.99, which is a steal for this huge rug. The quality is not bad at all. Um, definitely a great size. It takes up a lot of room on the balcony, so I like that a lot. So if you're looking for some rugs, especially for outdoor, if you know they're going to get wet and things like that, that you're not too worried about, definitely check out Ross. They have some nice ones for a great price. So yeah, this is the overall look of my patio so far. I am definitely going to make some changes and adjustments for my new apartment, which I'll be moving in next month, but I'm going to miss this view. I will have a pond view now, but the pool view is definitely giving resort vibes, so I love sitting out here. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys think. So until next time, I will see you guys later.